representing the syncretism with the Catholic Church of Mother Oshun of the Sweet Waters, uh, representing the syncretism with Nana, with the syncretism of the who is the mother who comes out of the wetlands and the muds of creation, and the Iemanjá, the goddess of the sea. So these are three representations of the sailors, sailors, men uh, who uh, are represented in different ways and representing also the culture here of the ports, of the port area in a connection with the seas. The syncretism with Yansan and Oxóssi, so they represent San Sebastião, and Yansan represents Santa Bárbara, Santa Bárbara, who is the saint of the military. And here the syncretism with Obaluae, who is the father of the pandemics and the diseases. And he is the son of Nana as well. Now I would like to invite uh, Manu. Poderia cantar um, um pedaço da música das orixás mostrando o chum, né? Okay. So now I would like to share the path with you. Uh, one, a little bit of the story that I was talking about Oshun. And soon Manu will sing with with us the song of the orixás. One part of that. So here is a representation of Oshun syncretized and Oshun, she was the goddess of the rivers and walking on the stones, the rivers, she created with her walk the pebbles while walking and also sharpening her daggers, her jewelry and her feet. And through years and years and centuries, she kept looking for her love, walking on the, the rocks. And one day, when the hunter arrived looking for her, she danced a beautiful dance to seduce the, the man. But what happened is, when she left, Yansa, the goddess of the lightning and the winds, who had some disagreements with Oshun. She launched her winds and she freed her the veil of the face of Oshun, revealing that Oshun had become, throughout the years, an old woman, an elder. And when the hunter, despite of getting in love by her dance, when he saw her face of Oshun as an elder woman, he started to think that she was the witch from the village that lived in the river. And he was saying and shouting that, that he would go to the village to tell everyone that there near the river lived a witch. But Oshun, she was scared and shocked on how that beautiful man who had just fallen in love with her beauty and dance would call her a witch just because she was old. And she was very afraid of him going to the village and telling everyone that she was a witch. Despite of that, she spent so many years walking around, taking care of her beauty, waiting for her lover, and that thing happens. So she took her dagger and without thinking, in an act of despair, she took out his life. Then she threw herself in the river and she became a fish. And every day she would come to the margins of the river to see other people passing by and remembering the beautiful days that she spent and the beautiful life that she left, lived around the river. Now I would like to invite Manu to sing a little bit of the songs of the Orishas that she brought for us.
Tantas batalhas venci, muitas ainda vou enfrentar, muitas vezes vou cair, mas sempre vou levantar. Meu escudo é minha fé, minha espada é orixá, tenho meu corpo fechado. Nas rezas do Jacutá Quando eu caí, meu pai, Ogu me levantou Quando eu sofri, mamãe Oxu me amparou Me vi perdido, o eixo veio me guiar Tava com fome, Oxóssi me ensinou a caçar Fui humilhado e Xangô me defendeu. Fui perseguido, Oiá nos ventos me escondeu. Caí doente, o oh, Bulu quem me curou. Eu tava sujo, Iemanjá quem me banhou. Eu vi a morte, mas Nanã me afastou. Cuidou de mim e o meu pranto ela secou. Desesperado vi minha fé vacilar. Fui renovado com as palavras de Oxalá. Se eu fosse só, não estaria mais aqui. Meu orixá que me ajudou a persistir. Na noite escura, nos caminhos me guiou. E na Umbanda eu retribuo o seu amor. Thank you. Obrigada, meu amor. Ficou lindo. <risos> Thank you so much, Manu. Obrigada, viu? So, Manu, uh, we met just two days ago. And she took the tour with me here today in Rio in the morning. And she said, ah, that's so beautiful, the work that you're going to do and present the, the Umbanda. I can contribute with a song. So thank you so much for contributing with that song. And also thank you, Belle, for contributing with your stories, sharing your house here with us. Thank you so much, Belle. And, uh, well, para finalizar, que é aqui, ele termina, a gente tem que terminar em cerca de dois minutos. Uhum. Aí você gostaria de deixar alguma mensagem, terminar com algo, falar algo pro pessoal? Só acho importante frisar de que a cultura africana e o que a gente trouxe, né, para o que é brasileiro hoje em dia, é, não vem junto à moral cristã que a gente conhece, então às vezes a gente ouve um Itã, né, que é uma história de orixá e a gente fica um pouco, meu Deus, o que é isso, sabe, uhum. por que isso é sagrado, e é por, justamente porque não faz parte de uma cultura cristã que está estabelecida no mundo, vai além dela, é muito mais antiga que ela, inclusive, okay. né. So she's saying that the mass that she would like to live for you is that these, uh, the stories that we hear from the orixás, uh, what they are searching for on keeping the traditions is to create opportunities such as these that we are having here now together of sharing our ancestral stories, which are ancient, from ancient times ago, even before uh, the Christianism. So it's important uh, that we share the stories and we also, the Umbanda also opens up space for the, co the culture of the colonizers, but worshiping what came before. So that's the mess that she wanted to live so that you can create opportunities such as the one that I'm creating to create dialogue, understanding, and, and respecting the women of Axé without prejudice, sem preconceitos, né? Respecting different religions. As you saw, there are people who fight for that, who educate for that. Well, thank you all of you who joined, Camilo, Patrick, Paul, Steve, all of you who attended. We are getting to the end of our tour, and uh, I appreciate your participation so much. Today, we put up and we brought up a lot of people together uh, to open their doors. 
And I hope that we could have con contributed with a little bit of our culture to, to your lives as well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So I'm going to end showing a little bit of outside um, image. Eu vou finalizar só mostrando a imagem lá de fora. 45 minutinhos passa rápido. É. É, é muita história para contar. Ah, é. E tem ali, nem, 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 falo, nem deu tempo de falar dos ciganos ali. Eu falei lá fora. Ah, uma coisa que é importante lembrar, que o pessoal pode contribuir. So, one, another thing that is important that we can, you can support is every house, smaller organizations, house of worshiping, they have their donations box. If you want to contribute with this center, this religious center of Brazilian Afro religion, you're more than welcome to do it. Uh, I can direct 10% of your donations today to live here in their, uh, in their box. So thank you so much for participating. Uh, here in Hego, you, you're welcome to support our work in different ways, either by word of mouth, sharing, following us on social media, tipping, or even giving good reviews, or making good constructive critique on our mailbox as well of the social media. It's very welcome and appreciated. Thank you, Paul, Stephen. Thank you, Joey. This is the outside. Bye-bye. I'm finishing with showing you a little bit of the street of the region of the Little Africa. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Sheila. Sheila. Muito obrigada. Tchau, tchau.